How can you get excited about a simple leather wrap wallet? And really, how can you improve on it? Well, you might not be surprised that Dave Mitchell of Mitchell Leather has created that excitement and has certainly made some improvements on his own with the leather wrap card wallet. You know, it's good! It's good! It's good! It's good! Mitchell Leather, this is the leather wrap card wallet. It is a slim wallet. And you'll notice that David always wraps his wallets in a piece of paper. It gives a little detail and instructions on what to expect, what to do, and so forth. All right, let's set this aside. This is the natural color. It also comes in chestnut and dark brown. You can specify whether you want the logo on the front or not. I choose to not have the logo, uh, the Mitchell Leather logo on my wallets. And you can see what it looks like right here. From a feature perspective, we have three external card slots. One, two, and it wraps around another one right here. One to two cards capacity for each of those. We also have an internal card slot, one you can see right here from the top down. See how thin this is? It uh, can carry cash folded twice. Actually, cash folded twice or in thirds can fit in any one of these, uh, but you'll get the best margin up here at the top. It measures 3.4 by 2.6 by 0.2, and it weighs 24 grams or 0.9 ounces, just under an ounce. 80,000 subscribers, two lucky people, five wallets of their choice from all that I have. Will you feed that thing? Remember, subscribe. 80,000, we get there, it's done. Now, believe it or not, Dave recommends up to 12 cards. Now, of course, that's at the expense of not carrying cash. Uh, but remember that once you stretch this leather, it is very difficult to reduce the number of cards. You need to be very deliberate in the number of cards that you put in here or cash if you're going to stretch it using cash. This is designed and made in the United States. It is from a high character, we'll talk about that, Horween Dublin Leather. Just look up the, at the pull up here. Look, watch this as it changes colors right there. See that? This is amazing put my fingers up in this. You can just see that. That is amazing pull up from the tannins and the leather. So, so good. Oh man, how can you not love the smell of amazing leather? One of the things that makes Mitchell's wrap wallet here different is the weight of the leather. You can see how thin this is right here. It's a slimmer cut, which they do in their own shop by skiving it down. Now, when I say high character, it means that the leather shows wrinkles. So we can get this in a little bit of light and you can see kind of the, the wrinkles in here. This is from the animal it came from. And these striations really provide a great tactile feel to the leather. It is high character. Another thing I enjoy about Dave's creations is the exactness in what he produces. He's meticulous about every detail. If you look at the bottom here, we have just very light burnishing, but I'm telling you the exactness of the cut here, and exact, I mean, it's just very exact and precise. And if you look at the way he has sewn here, it's very precise. The extra reinforcements is very meticulous in how it's done. It's very elegant. It's not sloppy by any stretch of the imagination. It is priced for $59 which I think is reasonable. I really like the thinner cut of the leather, but the weight isn't super thin like we see with most wallets uh, or heavier ones, which we see with wallets like Kraft & Lore, for example, which is a heavier weight. It comes to them from the tannery like that. That's how they produce it. Mitchell Leather, they actually skive it down. They kind of reduce the weight. It's still thick enough that you have good substantiality in the wallet and the leather, but it gives that thinner profile. Another thing you might have noticed during the cash card insertion test is that the cards stick up beyond the wallet. And they do that on purpose, right? A lot of cards, or some card carriers like this, especially when we're talking about the middle slot here at the top, and you put cards in, they disappear, and you've got to dig around for them. Now these are exposed a little bit, which means getting them out is easier, so there's no digging for that. The downside, of course, is there's more exposure of your cards, which means they will have more wear and tear over time in your pocket, especially if you carry keys or other items which would rub against it. Okay, now tell me you didn't think there was some good thinking that went into such a simple design. I've never been disappointed in a Mitchell Leather product, and I encourage you to pick one up too. Now onto the final score. For quality of five, I think that's apparent. Price of three, fair price. Features three, it's what you expect. Usability of four, it is uh, sweet leather and it's easy to get in and out uh, the cards cash you have. And perception of five, that gives us a great score, 42 out of 50. If you like this video, then watch this one next. And if you'd like to see the review of the Mitchell MCW, it's amazing. You can see that here too. We'll see you in the next review, bye.